y'all, it's Maddie from the Itty Bitty Homestead Committee. I haven't done an update on our Californian project in a while, so I figured I would introduce you to the two kits we currently have out of two unfortunate singleton litters, and that is a thing. Um, for whatever reason, our litters out of both Hawk and Tati this last time were dismal, and um, I figured I'd show you one we're keeping and one we are not keeping, and how everything is going, and I think y'all get a ch kick out of our little kit chow chow, so let's hop into it. So this is our singleton kit out of Freak and Hawk. His name right now is Freak Jr. because he is a little identical copycat of his father. And we are not going to be keeping this kit for quite a few reasons. For one, I like Freak better, and for two, this is a little buck. So I don't need another buck in my program that is related to Freak because, you know, I don't. Um, with that being said, um, this little kit doesn't have a nice enough rear end for me to justify keeping him when I still have his father. Um, I will say he does have a nice little personality and is not too bad of a handle for an eight week old kit. Um, I don't like how flat he is here. I just don't like it at all, but that's something that can eventually fill out in the future. Um, with that being said, I'm not going to keep him into our breeding program. And I do like that, um, his high point isn't bad, but I do don't think that the translation of his high point looks balanced enough with his hind quarters um, because of how he is sitting. And I would love to, um, he's actually going to a friend's breeding program. They uh, have a buck right now that isn't throwing very large kits. In fact, their uh, kits aren't growing out very fast. They're very small in comparison to our lines. So they're going to replace their buck with this one and see if it helps them out anymore in their program. Um, also with his markings, um, his markings are about equivalent to Freak. I would have liked better if his markings were more on the line of Hawks. So he has a bit too much Freak in him and not enough Hawk in him. So I'm definitely going to try breeding Hawk and Freak again to see if we can get a better litter. And if you can see here, I'm just kind of showing you with him posed up how he lacks that balance and roundness in the hind quarter, and he just looks a bit small. And um, I know that my friend said that she would send me pictures of him as he gets older, so I can kind of track how these kits grow out more past the eight to 12 week mark. Overall, I was just very disappointed in this pairing of Freak and Hawk and what it kind of achieved. Um, mostly I'm disappointed because Hawk stopped producing milk around the two week mark and we lost so many kits out of her because initially she did have a litter of six. Next, we have this little doe out of George and Tati. And to be honest, I am pretty tickled pink with this little baby. And it's not just her personality because there's a reason we call her Chow Chow, right? She chews on everything. She is ornery as all get out. I absolutely adore this little baby. I wish uh, George and Tati would have had more. And in fact, this is the one kit I wish would have been a buck because I needed a buck out of George. And now I have this little munchy crunchy dough that likes to bite fingers and bite bite shirts and bite towels and just coals a oh, holy hell of a ruckus. She is just a little, oh, she is just, she's adorable, but she's so, so annoying, but I love her. And, you know, she's only four weeks old right here. So she is very, very, very much so still a baby, but she has um, a very nice type so far for four weeks old, but we are going to keep an eye on her and see how she does. I am going to rebreed her mother to Freak and see if we can get a better looking buck than Freak. Because the, the goal is to get a bunch of babies that look better than their parents so that you can replace their parents. Now, I can't say whether or not this little doe is better than her mother, but I can say that this little doe has a different bloodline than her mother does. And because it is such a different bloodline in comparison to the one I have, because this is a baby out of George and George is no longer here, even if this doe's type turns out to be absolutely horrible, we'll be keeping her just long enough to get a single litter out of her. But I do have hope that she is going to be absolutely absolutely amazing. Um, I just hope I'm right and it's just not me getting into this little baby's personality because like I said she is hilarious and um, 
I'm really happy to be working with her. And in case y'all forgot, here is Mr. Freaky Boy doing as well as any little Californian buck can do when he is the only breeding buck in the program. Y'all, I love this little man. He is just awesome. I just wish his colors were better and, you know, we're still working with him. He has a nice little compact type that really offsets some of the really bad stuff in our lines of Hawk and Totti um, because we do have some really, really chopped butt going on. And of course, Miss Hawk here. Um, we rebred Hawk to Freak about two weeks ago, so hopefully she'll be having another litter. But what I'm really pleased with with this doe is the fact that she has been doing so well with handling. As most of you know, when we first got her, um, you would put your hand in the cage and she would freak out. So the extra handling and the working with her has been working out and she has been doing so much better. I just really hope she does better with this next litter because she had a nice size litter of six. It's just her milk didn't finish off. And I am hoping that next time that doesn't happen and that her next litter is way more successful. And then of course we have Miss Tati with our little girl Chow Chow. And if you look, you might be saying, Madison, there is a bunny and with Tati, that is not Chow Chow. And you would be a hundred percent correct because um, Tati has turned out to be a wonderful, wonderful little foster mom because our doe one had a litter of eight and we threw three in here with Tati to kind of offset milk production, make sure all the kits were taken care of. And Tati, even though she only had one baby of her own, has done amazing with these three little Rex babies. And if you look at the size of the Rex babies compared to Chow Chow, they are all growing at the same rate, which means that Tati is doing amazing with her milk production and is taking care of all of these little stick pots. Overall, 10 out of 10 would breed again. So that's what's happening with our Breed It Better project. We're working on improving those Californian lines. And as I explained earlier in the series, it's going to take a long while for us to get to the quality that we want. And it's a journey, so we're just going to enjoy it. So I'm going to rebreed those does, see if we can get some larger, better litters, and fingers crossed that everything will go well. But right now I am at the grocery store. Um, I haven't gone for a little while and our pantries are looking a little bare for the things that Little Miss likes to eat, such as graham cracker cookies. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. But I want to thank y'all so much for getting to the end of this video and I'll see y'all the next one. Bye.